they're always gonna be tied to me and I'm always gonna be tied to them. On January 23rd, Lifetime premiered Salt and Peppa, a biopic about the come up of hip hop's first female act to go platinum. And while Cheryl Salt James and Sandra Peppa Denton served as writers and executive producers, one member of the Grammy winning rap group found herself left out of the project. Billboard caught up with Deidre Roper, aka DJ Spinderella, played on screen by actress Monique Paul, and she talked about being excluded from the film's production. I wasn't involved in it at in, at any point. I, in the in the discussions about it, I wasn't involved in the meetings about it. I wasn't involved in the writing of it. Just one day ahead of the movie's premiere, Roper took to Twitter in a series of tweets writing, too often black women who have made meaningful contributions in their industry are left out of historical narratives. Back when salt and Peppa was building our legacy, which is rooted in empowering women, I could not have dreamed that this same group would one day disempower me. Words cannot fully express my disappointment when I learned a decision was made to move forward with a lifetime biopic that wrongfully excluded me from every aspect of development and production, all while using my my image throughout, given that I played an integral role in the group's story and success. Roper joined the group back in 1987 at age 16, replacing the original Spinderella. She says at the time she was brought into audition for the trio by the group's mastermind, Herbie Lovebug Azor. I think they maybe they feel that they inherited me. And so his idea and, and their idea somehow was different, but my idea was the seed was planted as, as being in salt and pepper, you know, fulfilling that is what I did. And um, their intentions may have been different than that. Together, Roper, James, and Denton went on to win multiple awards, including a Grammy in 1995 for best rap performance by a duo or group for their hit song, None of Your Business. But after 32 years, it all came to an end on January 4th of 2019, when Roper was terminated after what she says was years of fighting to legally carve out her place in the group among women she considered sisters. I mean, in the end, it was like they just didn't want to talk about it anymore. But, you know, you still have the legacy. You still have, um, you know, the royalties, distribution. So I had to... Um, handle that legally. Following her termination, Roper sued James and Denton over allegations of fraud, breach of contract, trademark infringement, and unpaid royalties. The case was later confidentially settled, but Roper says in the end, what she really wanted was mediation, especially for their fans and to protect the legacy of the group's contributions. It's a very important part of history, and and it should be preserved, and it shouldn't be tainted. I don't care what the quarreling is. I feel like it, it's necessary to sit down and work these things out. And at the end of the day, I just, you know, I, I am apologetic to our fans as a whole. What do you think, without all of this that's going on between the group, what do you think the legacy of Salt and Peppa should be? We, that we are the women that we spoke that we, we were. We have to stand up to that. The legacy is always what it's been is to uplift women and is to, but if, how are we gonna uplift women if we can't uplift each other evenly? Back in December, we sat down with both James and Denton and asked them if a reunion with Roper was somewhere on the horizon and they said this. Time heals all wounds. You know, I, I think that was, that would be the ultimate, but uh, you never know. I say totally ditto. I'm Me. open, like, cause you never know life. I'm always open. Do you have any thoughts on that? The only way something like that would happen is if we get this business handled and that they offer an apology to me. When you have a legacy, you wanna make sure that th that would outweigh this stuff. So I'm not, you know, I'm not closed off to that, but I, I will be respected. I will be treated fairly. I, I'm, out, I'm not going there anymore. I will never be in a group that does not want to be with me. I would love to have a mediator. I'm not gonna give up on that, but we need, we need a serious mediator. <laughs>
Next up for Roper, she's getting married. Plus, she's currently working on a memoir with the working title Queen on Deck she's hoping to release this fall. I get to share who I am because I've kind of been in the background um, with my former group for the most part. So coming out and doing this is um, really important to me to express me now. For a full recap of our interview with DJ Spinderella, head to billboard.com. For Billboard News, I'm Jordan Rowling.